probably the first thing is that we still need a lot to learn and to understand about the Mexican situation. We're still one step behind. We don't really know what the actors are. We still don't understand how the violence occurred, who the victims are, and what the experience of the victims have been. And I also feel like we need to be better understanding the different um, actors that are involved in this. Everyone has a, an agenda about how we should change, but those agendas seem so different and so separated from each other. You know, everyone, it, it, sometimes it seems that there, are some, there is a, a political or economical or even an academic elite that is so disconnected from the real people, those who are suffering the most, those who have lost their families and, and who have been displaced. And we are just looking or seeing the tip of the iceberg about the violence that we're experiencing. Um, and we need to learn a lot about how other countries in Latin America have approached all these problems and how they have found ways to connect themselves, how they have found ways to talk to each other. Um, and just quoting um, John Paul Lederach, it's not only about huge, massive mobilizations, it's about um, connecting people that might not be the most li likely connections, um, unpredictable connections, but those are the ones who really generate some true and substantive change. And I think that's, that's our main challenge, to just get people to talk, people who are not talking at this point, people who think that they are in different, um, in different spectrums, in, in, in opposite sides of this conflict, of this horrible violence that we're, that we're experiencing. And, and they are not, all of them are victims. They have to start realizing, and we have to start realizing, that everyone is a victim of this horrible situation that we're facing.